Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheridan Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It's another pretty morning here on, in the mountains of North Carolina, but it's cold this morning. I'm going to have to go in and put on my toboggan. I call it toboggan. Some people call it a beanie. I told a lady one time I was going to put my toboggan on, and she thought I was talking about one of those sleds. Anyway, what what do you call it? You call it a toboggan, a sled, a, sled, a beanie, um, knit cap. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um... But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Son and I have got a delivery that we need to do today. Um, we're going to do it, go do some chores, get some animals fed. Then we're going to come back and we'll talk a little bit about why deliveries are important. Why we do those, why we put energy and effort into that, and how that can make a difference for you on your farm. So let's get a little food delivered this morning to some people and some critters. Hang out with us for a little bit. Oh, and stick around. We're going to go check those game cameras, see if we've got any new pictures on it. If I do, I'll share those at the end of the video. And I love him lights. <laughs> and we added some more over here. I've still got my ones that are hooped and plugged in. The neighbor Christian came up, added us a switch here, and voila, even more light. Now it is nice and bright in here. This is a, our new group of egg chickens. Um, these are going to be some replacements for the crowd that's up there in the egg mobile. We're going to replace a bunch of those. 
we opted to go with a little bit more of a heritage heavier breeded bird this time so these gold ones here those are buff orpingtons the black ones uh, black and white striping ones those are dominiques or dominickers these black with the white spots are aconas they're a black chicken that lays a white egg and then these other ones that are really really colorful Let's see we got some more of those out here yeah these other ones that are really colorful like this gray one and uh, white one right there, brown. Those are Easter eggers. We got a couple of roosters uh, for each breed. So we'll be able to, you know, replace these. So if I wanted some more Dominickers, I would just separate the Dominick rooster and a couple of Dominicker hens. <clears throat> give them a few days, start collecting eggs. And we should, should get some more Dominicker chicks. So, um... These guys are what we call our intermediate step. We got them in our Soskovich tractors. They just have come out of the brooder. Um, they came out of the brooder probably two or three weeks ago. Uh, then they stayed in the tractors for a week or so, maybe a week and a half. And now tractors are open, but we've got netting it. So they're learning the netting, but they've got the tractors for, you know, some shelter. And then water and feed, of course, are in there. We're using our long feeders and then these bell-style drinkers. Works out pretty good, so. Probably will start laying. Sonder, when do you th think these chickens will start laying? About March. about March. Yep, so about the time farmers markets get fired up and spring's hitting the air and everybody's getting in that spring mode, these guys should be laying some eggs. So. Mostly browns. Uh, the Dominickers and the Buff Orpingtons will lay brown eggs. The Aconas, like this little guy right there, will lay white eggs. And then the Easter Eggers, of course, blues and greens and teals and that kind of thing. So. <clears throat> All right, we got to pull an order for this customer that we're going to go deliver to this morning. Can't pay on the farmer's choice box. Yep. All right, we went back and added a, a pork shoulder roast at um, 2.24. Now this is a 10 pound, we advertise as a 10 pound farmer's choice box for $125. So how much weight's in here? About 13. We ended up with about, so we'd like to err on the side of the customer. So it's about 113 pounds. No, I, it's about 13 pounds. Excuse me, it's about 13, 113 pounds. That's a, that that's, is erring on the side of the customer. Yeah. 13 pounds. Went, added it up. If the customer was buying this retail, we would be at 135.13. So they're saving about 10 bucks on this and getting a little bit more than what they thought they were going to get. So that works out good for the customer, works out good for us. They get a nice variety. They got beef, pork, and chicken in there, don't they? they look like the abominable booger man or something. There you go. All right, deliveries are done. That's Ended good. up with two, didn't we? Yep. Nice. That worked out pretty good. Well, we ended up with one, and then we brought my brother some stuff. So. Yeah, well, that's two. I mean, that kind of counts as two deliveries. It was mm. worth the trip. Yeah. All right. We'll go back home. We'll talk about our deliveries and how all that works and why we do it and wintertime sales and that kind of thing. What do you think? Okay. All right.
That's why we went out to do our delivery. I stopped and got some lunch, and I was searching on Facebook Marketplace. It's kind of my favorite pastime. And I found a guy that was on the way home that was selling deer corn for $7.50 a bag. That's the cheapest I've seen it all year, $7.50 a bag. So I stopped and got 10 bags up. So while I'm thinking about it, I want to give a quick shout out to those folks that are supporting us over on Patreon. We use that as a way to triage a lot of questions that we get. Unbelievable the amount of questions we get related to raising pigs and cows and chickens and all that kind of thing on, around here. If you're a member over on Patreon, I promise you I am going to answer your question. If you leave me a comment, send me a message through Messenger, a text, whatever, I can't always guarantee that I'm going to answer those. But if, you put, if you're a member over there and you leave me a question, I promise you I will answer them. Also, those folks, we really appreciate, appreciate your support. That's what helps keep this channel going. It's been a rough week for YouTube production around here. I had a monitor that I used to uh, edit videos go completely kaputs on me. Had to buy a brand new monitor. I filled up another external hard drive, so I had to get another external hard drive this week. That's how I store my footage and, and put everything together and where I keep it all. And I've had ongoing camera issues. Broke down had to buy another camera. None of that stuff is cheap. Doing this YouTube thing, if you're doing it right or trying to do it right, is not an inexpensive thing, thing to do. So those of you that are supporting us over there, we really appreciate it. Makes a huge difference and helps keep the uh, helps keep the channel on. All right, <clears throat> if you have stuck with me so far, thank you. I apologize for the for the uh, sound. I realized that just a few minutes ago when I was going back and checking some footage on some things, I hadn't checked it all day. Been recording all day. Got a new camera, and I think I know the problem. I think the problem is a microphone that I was using. I, I just don't think that microphone is going to work with that camera because of the connection and the way the connection. But anyway, um, I'm going to try to cover some of that up with music and some editing and some of that stuff. But again, if you've stayed with me this far, thank you. I know that little tick, tick, tick sound is in there, and I, I apologize for that. I know how important sound is on videos. We've spent a bunch of money on sound equipment, microphones and that kind of thing to try to get our sound right. So I apologize. But what we're going to talk about, wintertime deliveries. So this is our 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This was our sixth full, this has been our sixth full year farming. And we knew intuitively going in and we've rediscovered year after year after year. During the market season, basically April through October, we have a really nice regular steady income coming in that pays for most of the farm, pays for feed, uh, animals if we have to buy them, processing and some of those kinds of things during the season. During that off season, that October, November time frame through spring, we naturally, you know, we don't have markets, so we see this really, really steep decline in income to be able to pay for things that we need to pay for here on the farm. And so for the first basically five years during the winter, Sandra and I would have to continue to put personal money into the business to make the business go. And now you can say, well, it's all, it's all one big pot of money, it's all our money. Yeah, it is, but we're to the point now that farm finances are completely separate from home finances. And for those first, like I say, five years, <clears throat> there was a lot of blurring because the income for the farm would basically come to a screeching halt and we would have to continue to feed personal money in during the off season. What we've discovered and found is that if we're able to continue some kind of business, some kind of sales through the winter, we're able to keep a steady enough income that it covers all those things. And last year, last winter was the first year we were able to do that. We were able to pick up a small farmer's market during the wintertime on Saturdays, that was indoor, and we really saw a boost in our delivery business. This year, we continue to see a little bit of a boost in our delivery business because during the season, what we've done is we've worked really hard to try to train our customers to go to our website and order online and then pick up at markets. So we had a, a lot of customers that really got used to our website, got used to how the website works, paying on the website, and then meeting us on Saturdays to pick that up. So we're hoping that that continues to work again this year. But I think the point that I wanna make is, <clears throat> it's really important for you to be able to work, work out a way that you can continue your sales all year long, whether that's through subscriptions, whether that's through online sales, drop points, continuing to do some kind of market uh, during, uh, during those off-season times. But to be able to keep that income coming is really important for a farm. 
If you can't do that or you see that you're not going to be able to do that, then you're going to have to make provisions during that market season to be putting back a little bit of cash as you can to be able to pay for feed, processing, buying animals, buying infrastructure, whatever, you, you know, the necessities <clears throat> during that off season. <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing that I would recommend doing is try to, try to avoid paying for a lot of infrastructure projects during the winter time unless you have the money set aside from the business to be able to do that. You know, farming is a, it's a game of ups and downs. You know, you fight a lot of different things. You're fighting weather, you're fighting disease, you're fighting heat, you're fighting cold, you're fighting price, you're fighting, you know, the, not only the price of, the, the prices of everything, fuel, process, and feed, the whole deal. And so you continue to have this battle and you've got to figure out ways to be able to work through those and keep a little bit of income flowing or have some money saved. So I don't know if I'm making any sense or if I'm just rambling, but today was the delivery day. Um, we did have one customer that had ordered and then Sandra had done the delivery for her brother, just dropped a few things off for him, um, which, you know, we're glad, to, we're glad to help family and that kind of thing. But we appreciate our customers that have been ordering. I think two weeks ago, we had our biggest weekend delivery ever. Um, we had a single Saturday that we delivered a little over $1,200 worth of product to customers. So that was our biggest day on a delivery. And we're, we're hoping that we see that continue uh, through the wintertime. Be doing deliveries every other week. Uh, always, you can come here and buy on farm. Just make an appointment, make sure we're gonna be close by the house and not out somewhere doing chores and that kind of thing. So. We got the fire going. I've got three sleepy dogs laying right here beside the uh, beside the stove, and man, this feels good. Uh, got kind of cold today, but it's winter time, or it's almost winter time. We're end of end of November. It's time for it to be getting cold around here. So, I think I've rambled plenty. Like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.